I know some people who are very passionate about like eradicating the Asian <laughs> cat murderer, Is right? Yeah. But when it comes to our foreign worker friends made to sit at the back of the lorry, which is illegal, they suddenly, eh, I cannot hear, cannot see. Yay, welcome back to Tea Talk! Yes. <laughs> We're back indoors. I yeah. love that. Yeah, long time no see, Adele. <laughs> Hi everyone. Yes, okay, we're back on Tea Talk. But we have a new guest. Hi guys. Yes, uh, please introduce yourself. I'm Devon. My day profession is a social worker. Ah, so you work with a lot of youth? Um, yes, I actually do. One of my clientele group is actually youngsters and youth at risk as well. Oh, oh nice. Wow. So today I'm going to ask you guys all a question. And uh, the question is, are Singaporeans self-centred? What do you guys think about that? Yeah, so, okay, let's vote on that. Let's vote. Okay, let's okay, vote. Let's yeah. vote sure. Three, two, one. Okay, that's a no, that's a no, that's uh -huh. a on the fence, on the fence. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm. Mm. Why? <laughs> why? <laughs> it's quite why? divided. Why? Oh my god. Yeah. Why? Why do? I feel like we're always taught to mind your own business. Uh -huh. And as a result, it can breed into ignorance. So in that way, I feel like it's a bit of both because it's not a malicious right. intent. Right, like right, it, it's right. it's like a less Something you're yeah, talking. Yeah, correct. You know? No, I, I agree because that was the thing that I was talking about yesterday. Like about how we have this whole um, like your mind your own business kind of culture. So <laughs> sometimes it feels a bit it's a bit hard. As in for me lah, because I feel like why why don't people care about things that are going on? Mm. How do y'all feel? Yeah. Why why, why y'all don't feel that is this the same way? Well, Devon, I would love to hear. Thank <laughs> 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 you. She, she error. Yeah. She error. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, right, um, because with the work I do, I do see youths and youth at risk as well. Mm. And I do realise that as much as we talk about, you know, the mind your own business kind of mm. attitude, right, quite a number of youngsters being exposed to the different news, social media and all of this, right, it has get, gotten them to a place where they feel that if they don't talk about it, all right, it means that they are taking a step. So if they, they rather don't talk about it. Yeah, like taking a stand. Mm -hmm. So okay. previously, we thought, okay, is also okay, okay. silence is content, mm, right, right, correct? Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. yeah. So my well then let's take a stand and talk about it because sometimes these issues are very close to the heart. Mm. Mm. Okay. Mm. Okay. Would it make sense if you don't talk about it? Mm. You're implying something, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So all my friends are from volunteering mm. groups and. Because we are like-minded, we want to do things and I know how passionate some of my friends are. It's just very hard for me to say that Singaporeans do not care because I do have friends who are actively doing these kind of things. Mm. And I do work with youth quite a bit and whenever mm. I attend events and talk to youth, right, I see how passionate they are to advocate for mental health. And these are the reason why I disagree that Singaporeans mm. are self-centered because quite a bit of youth are out there yeah. trying their very best. Okay, yeah. well, we're just not surrounding ourselves with the right people. <laughs> <laughs> so, so right. like tapping on that, mm. I used to volunteer a lot as well mm -hmm. and I got fatigued. Okay. The volunteer fatigue is real. So mm -hmm. I used to volunteer at a dog shelter mm. and then I would help um, distribute food to the rental flats in Singapore. Mm -hmm. Try not to play devil's advocate here, but you know, a lot of times when they want to donate, companies want to donate, right? They donate things that they want to donate and not mm. what people need. Mm. And I remember when we were distributing all these goods, right? I go there and they have like five standing fans. These families don't need standing fans anymore. They need microwaves. But right. microwaves are more expensive. Right, right, right. And then the companies don't want to buy the microwaves. So now they are left with five standing fans that they don't need. And then you still need to ask them to take a photo to post on social media so that the company can be like, hey guys, look, we did a good thing. And you're like, I feel, I feel like shit. Like this mm. is not doing anything. Mm. So then you feel a bit conflicted. Mm -hmm. And as a result, I'm, I'm a bit on the fence. Because right. I see that there's good. Innately, mm. it's good, right? Mm -hmm. You're still doing something. And the company posting that mm. could inspire another company to do good. Right. Mm. But it's like, oh! <laughs> no, I guess, it yeah, feels yeah, like yeah, people yeah. care only when it benefits them. Does it mean that Singaporeans don't care as much about issues that don't directly affect them? Are we voting? Can. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> okay. Three, two, one. Okay. Agree, right? Uh, agree. agree. Half. Don't agree. Disagree. Oh man. I'm a, <laughs> bit, I'm a bit... I'm leaning towards half, but... Uh, More towards the disagree side, but got a bit agree. Uh, okay. okay. Okay, disagree. 
path, agree, I and... I'm like, more to the agree side. More to the agree side, okay. Yeah. Woo! Woo. Last to unpack! Yeah. <laughs> oh man, why are you opposing? I don't like conflict. <laughs> okay, this is not conflict, this is nice conflict. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Important. I feel like the younger, like Gen Z's, are so great in that they're very radical. Mm. They are like so brave to speak out. They don't care, they lose friends. In fact, they're like, if I lose a friend, great. You like get rid of the people that I'm not aligned with mm. now. Mm. Whereas <laughs> for our age, it's like, I am already struggling. I and then, yeah, like not that we are more people pleasing, but it's very tiring already to work and mm. like pay your rent, pay your bills. And then now I need to decide how I feel socially. So it's just like rather no conflict. If not, I'm a bad person. Right. Like, I'm already struggling. Now I'm a struggling bad person, <laughs> you know? So I feel like that's where I'm at. I feel mm. like that's why it's... It's not so much like a, do you want to care about other people? It's like, do you have the capacity to or not? Oh, okay. I think right now, we do see quite a number of youngsters who are advocating. So that's why, you know, halfway on this side, they are advocating. Um, they don't mind the negativity that comes along. Mm-hmm. They are prepared to actually lose friends, like what you mentioned. For example, you know, uh, uh, I think in Ishun there was this case of, you know, um, cats being, you know, killed, <gasps> oh, right? Ishun oh cat murder! Yeah, correct. We know who you are, by the way. There's video proof already. Yeah. Actually, it's very interesting. You yeah. mentioned the Ishun cat thing, right? I didn't expect it to be brought up. Uh-huh. But that just reminded me, I know some people who are very passionate about, like, eradicating the Ishun cat murderer, oh, right? Sorry. But then, when it comes to real, more, not say more pressing, you can't, okay, I don't want to weigh the issues because mm. they're both very different. Mm. But, when it comes to our foreign worker friends made to sit at the back of the lorry, which is illegal and unsafe, and so many deaths have occurred as such, they suddenly, eh, I cannot hear, cannot see. You know, like, and I think it boils down to convenience. It's very easy and black and white and be like, yep, you should not kill cats, it's bad, it's murder. Whereas the other one is like, then now there needs to be a law put in place, you need to probably speak to ministers, then this has been happening for so long. So why suddenly cannot? Like it's mm, harder. I get you, I get you. So now you need to put in more effort and they realise I cannot. One of the conclusions I got out of my conversation with my friends is you can't advocate for every single thing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Because if you're going to advocate for every single thing, you are definitely going to burn up, mm-hmm. you know? And certain issues, we might not have much, you know, uh, information about or insight about. So sometimes you're also very nervous or, you know, very scared to actually advocate because mm. with social media, mm. moment you put out a post, there are probably going to be 10 people out of 10 people. Five might like it, five might say, you know, you don't know your stuff or you are, you know, looking at it in a very construed manner. Mm. So because of that itself, right, quite a number of people are hesitant to advocate for everything. Right. But at the same time, they also want to protect their own mental health as well. Right. Mm. But my question is, because like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, hear, I hear all this, right? If people are not talking about it online, are they still thinking about it? Yeah, because um, it's one thing to, yes, maybe you don't have the information or, or you're just hesitant about posting stuff online. But at the same time, do you even, is it even your mind frame? Like what you were talking about, like mm. this whole like uh, migrant worker thing, right? Mm. Are you even thinking about it, having conversations mm. with your friends about it? Because that's different. I mean, yes, not everyone needs to advocate online, but mm. I feel like if the first step is to even like it be on your mind space, yeah, mm. and like thinking about it. Yeah, which I feel like, I don't know, I don't hear a lot of people even thinking about it. <laughs> Heavy. Heavy. <laughs> no, no, after hearing all of that, right, I could disagree, right? I want to change it to half, eh. Okay, Because it's true, I mean, um, like, especially what Devon said, you cannot advocate for everything. Mm-hmm. And it is up to our capacity, and at the same time, convenience also play a huge role. Mm. So, I'm starting to question myself, the things that I'm advocating, is it because it is convenient for me? Is it because it is, you know, mm. I'm like, whoa! Okay, okay, <laughs> but, but, no, no, but, but convenience yeah. also comes with it being in your capacity. Mm-hmm. So it's not just that, it works for you. It mm-hmm. could be that you make it work for you. So. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. Do you feel like, do you guys feel like Singaporeans would rather be bystanders than someone who is advocating for change? Because a lot of what we also talked about is how people just talk about the issues, mm-hmm. right? And then are aware of the issues, which is one step. But then there's the next step, which is making something happen or solving the problem or like working towards a solution. Yeah, so let's vote. Okay. Three, two, one. As in agree means agree, yeah. right? Agree I means agree. Disagree. Ah! 
Disagree, I'm, disagree. I'm slighting to agree. Yeah, okay. Commit. <laughs> I agree. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm half. Okay. I disagree. Yes, you I'm, half, I'm half. I'm half. I'm half. Hey, yeah, you have for everything, sir. Yeah. No, let no. me explain. No, 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 my first one was agree. My first one was agree. It's not always yeah. black and white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no, because I'm like, ooh, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> great, 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 black. I definitely feel like it's a generational thing. Mm -hmm. Like our parents' generation, they were taught never to stand up. Like standing up is a bad thing. Mm -hmm. If you stand up, it either means you did something stupid mm -hmm. or you you think you're damn good. Mm -hmm. ah. You know, right? They're like, you think who? Like why would people want to hear your opinion, mm -hmm. right? And slowly with our generation, it has shifted a bit because we are celebrating it. We're celebrating individuality. We're celebrating like different voices. I think nowadays, quite a number of youngsters, they feel that it is indeed in their rights. Mm -hmm. So now even talking about things, advocating about certain things, it is important mm -hmm. and it is a right for them. So NYC actually did a study, mm -hmm. all right? And it was called the Youth Sentiment Poll. Two in three youths actually believe that it is important to be informed and active in standing up for their views on issues. I think this only comes with normalising these conversations. Uh -huh. We have talked about it for so many years. I mean, some of our parents' generation, like they've been talking about it. Mm -hmm. And because we've been going at it, it became normalised. Mm -hmm. And now they're like, no, it's our right. It's true. At the same time, there's also, you know, bystanders. We're talking about bystanders, yeah. right? Thank God, you know, increasing people who are moving from this side to this side. You know, okay. where, hey, you know what, yeah, this, this thing might not directly impact me, mm. but I do need to lend a voice. I mm. do need to advocate for these people because if no one advocates for them or insufficient people advocate for them, they then disappear. Their problem disappears or becomes yeah. nullified. Yeah. In fact, a survey done by National Youth Council showed that four out of five students actually participated in a civic activity. Oh, mm. okay. So it's not too bad. Yeah. We are getting there. Yeah. In fact, all mm. of us did CIP before. It's true, and it's okay. I mean, civic activity is also not just CIP, right? It's a lot more. Like. You guys all mentioned just now, like advocating for something doesn't just come in like going down mm -hmm. to like volunteer for something. Advocating online, especially in social media, is actually a really intimidating thing to do mm. because when you put your stuff out there, you do you would not know what others would say. Mm. Mm -hmm. Like advocating for mental health is a pretty scary thing, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm trying my best to advocate for it. Mm -hmm. And uh, as much as I love to advocate for it, sometimes I'm still pretty hesitant to talk about it. Mm. What if one day I leave my current job and my next employee is going to look at that video and be like, oh, she have trembles and she have panic attack. Eh. Can she even work or not? Is she a liability? You need to advocate when you're comfortable and at peace with yourself, mm -hmm. to a certain level at least, then you advocate. Because if you are just advocating for the sake of advocating, you're gonna, you're, gonna, you're gonna burn out for sure. Yeah, I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves to make like 10 over 10 change. Uh, like we don't realise that like, it's little steps along the way. Uh, yeah, I think during COVID, we had this realisation that not everyone is as privileged as we might be. Mm. Like, um, I remember there was a call for laptops just so that the kids can continue school. Right. Because a lot of classes were now taken online. Right. And a laptop is something that at least one person in every household has one. But to think that in a three, four person household, they don't even have one laptop. Or now they have two kids and each kid needs a laptop. I think that brought an awareness to us that some of us don't have it as easy. And it was a little moment of like checking our privilege and being aware that we are very lucky. Right. And from then it will butterfly. Um, one thing that came to my mind was the whole idea of, you know, your own three feet of influence. Okay. Right? You don't need to, you know, uh, start a whole, you know, rally. But once you step out of your door, your three feet of influence, it could be your friend, your family member, it could be even, you know, the passerby or your neighbour. Mm. You feel something's off, you feel that you need to talk to them, or you just want to check in with them. That is civic action. Yeah, when you That's help your neighbour press the button. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. <laughs> Open the door for you. Yeah. Just don't press the close button. Huh? Yeah, 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 but I, yeah, but I do agree. I think, um, it starts with all these little things, like just being more informed about what is actually happening. Mm. Stepping outside to um, think for another person or to like just be informed about yeah, what is, whatever that's happening. Yeah, so um, we have had a lot of good conversations, meaningful talks um, and insights. And thank you everyone for sharing. Um, I think we learned a lot. Yeah, and thanks, Davon, for being with us and sharing here yeah. today. Knowledge. All right, so that's all for Tea Talks. So if you guys have enjoyed this episode, you can um, check out our other upcoming episodes. But for now, this is goodbye. Yeah, so bye. Bye. bye.